We are very happy to present uh, our work at uh, the, the, this year's uh, virtual uh, TCT, and uh, it is focused on transplant associated thrombotic microangiopathy or TTMA. Uh, we know that TTMA is a devastating uh, situation in both the pediatric and the adult population. Over the last years, our group has gained uh, significant experience uh, on uh, the pathophysiology and treatment of the uh, adult population. And in this uh, poster, we try to gather our uh, experience uh, on complement uh, inhibition uh, with Eculismab, which uh, was uh, until now the, the only available uh, uh, complement inhibitor uh, uh, in the market. And uh, we, our group has uh, used Eculismab off-label in uh, TATMA uh, over the last uh, years trying to identify patients uh, with a uh, high risk that would benefit from uh, this treatment. This is, of course, a very uh, tricky question and tricky uh, puzzle. Uh, so um, in total, we described 28 uh, patients that developed uh, TATMA. Uh, among them, 13 patients did receive uh, eculizumab. And um, we also described uh, the problems on the availability of the drug that we had in the beginning of uh, its administration. A few patients that uh, had normal soluble C5V9 levels and were therefore not selected uh, for eculizumab and uh, one patient that uh, unfortunately deteriorated very rapidly and was not able to take the treatment. Uh, among the 13 patients that did uh, take the treatment, uh, we, uh, we saw very encouraging uh, results. Most of them, and especially those that were able to uh, uh, take uh, four or more doses, uh, did respond to the treatment and uh, had a favorable uh, overall survival compared to the patients that uh, had not received uh, eculizumab. Uh, so this is one uh, of the very few analyses uh, uh, that compares a, a complement inhibitor group to a non-complement inhibitor group showing uh, increased overall survival for patients that do uh, receive a complement uh, inhibitor. However, uh, there are still some uh, problems uh, in this field and one of them is that soluble C5B9 uh, needs to be uh, available in many more centers worldwide for diagnosis and monitoring. Uh, we may need to update current diagnostic and therapeutic recommendation, especially in adults. And uh, complement inhibition with eculizumab may be safe and effective, but there are still uh, some patients uh, that uh, do not survive despite a transit response to and in these patients, uh, we may need to seek uh, novel treatments uh, with other complement inhibitors or potentially combination treatments uh, that uh, are going to be described uh, in the future. And we were also able to describe uh, patients uh, that were that um, stopped eculizumab and. Um, had a very good uh, uh, follow-up, uh, so did survive. Uh, one of them uh, had a um, uh, relapse of TATMA and uh, also did respond to eculizumab after the relapse. So uh, we also uh, show data of, um, of a good response to re initiation of complement inhibition. Our study highlights the difficulties in the, fields, uh, in the field of TMA and and also uh, uh, tries to, to set the pathway for the future studies uh, in uh, other complement inhibitors uh, in the field.